Hi guys, welcome back to Crazy Car for TV. Um, another episode, we're down at Baker's. Got something a bit special for you this session. We're doing a 48 hour session. Um, I'm on peg 16. Dan is on peg 17. He's just here for the night. We've also got the special guest, as you have a bed, Josh B. As you can see, he's in the background. Speaking of Spodnik, so we'll be talking to Josh about how he fishes. He's fishing totally different to all of us again. And another aspect of fishing for you. So we're gonna get set up, we're gonna get some spot mixed out, and then we'll show you the show you the lake and talk you through everything. Um as Josh is making the spot mix there he's using BM baits um, products, making all the he's got the blood, he's got something new what me and Josh are trying out for Stu and um, which is the views. Shortly they'll be coming on the market for everybody else soon hopefully. Which we found it worked a lot better than the few in the session that we tried it. We've also got um, BMB foilies, we've got a, got a mixture of them this session. We've got Marathon, Crab and Cray, Red Bush and Green, all season mix and Marathon. So we've got a fair few foilies to show you on that on that, on that basis. We've got BMB pellets, we've got the gloves, we've got the oils. There's the oils there. Josh showed you a minute ago the gloves. These are the BMB pellets. And we've got uh, some pellets. We've got Josh there that. So we'll get set up. We'll cut the spot. We'll show you the spot mix, and then I'll show you where to. Right then, I'm going to James and Josh at Baker's. I've been here about an hour and a half. Finally got set up. Three rods, two margin rods, and one out in open water, not very far out. Um, I think James just got set up now, so we'll talk through what he's been doing. Right, yeah, like I said, guys, as you heard me say on the YouTube video, um, down at Baker's, my name's Daniel first time, special guest Josh, he's just been on before. Um, Danny's on Peg 17, I'm just down, I'm just going to be me, Peg 16. Jobs on peg 15. Uh, I've got all my rods in, fishing two literally really close together. Uh, that's all the uh, just pod mix that we'll show you later on. And I've got another one just down over a willow, just under a willow tree, uh, with a scattering of boilers and all sorts of party uh, over that as well. Uh, using the normal rig, blowback rigs, EM baits as always, we've got the Harrison and the uh, Got having grey and red. Testing out the new gloves, which we, we think are really good. Testing in the edge will look absolutely amazing. Um, I don't know whether you know, but the Corda ones, been a lot of in the press about them, saying about the bad chemicals, etc. Um, we know for a woman said that these have got no bad chemicals in the all natural products, so it's them fish safety. Um, so hopefully they'll be coming on the market for you lot soon. No, I'm going to catch you a bit. I'm going to catch you a bit. Uh, basically, as I said, we have three rods. My left hand rod, just down this near margin, under a tree. Uh, fishing half bait, half boilies. Uh, I mentioned before that I like fishing half boilies. It's nice to just put me half of the cutter, the quarter cutter. Uh, it basically doubles your quantity. It doesn't double your weight, but. I don't know if this makes sense, but if you have five kilo of oilers, you cut them in half, you've got the quantity of ten kilo, but not the weight of ten kilo, if that makes any sense. So uh, I'm fishing a uh, mainland active eight in 18 knot. Uh, that's the left hand rod. Middle rod is just out in open water, found a nice uh, gravel spot about 11 foot, 11 and a half foot. Used Nick James's boat, I borrowed that, put some uh, hemp. Half boilies, sweet corn, uh, bits of everything out of that, just a full pack for me. Just, just to put in there, sorry, Danny. Um, as I said about that gravel bar, I'm sure I'll tell you that it's fishing on the edge of it, are you? Yeah, first pull, cast over it, and you just pull it back, and you, first, you feel the first few bumps, and that's where, I'm, that's where I clicked up to. But I don't want to fish in right in the middle, it's just a bit obvious. So, as I said, I've used James's boat, I haven't put my rig out in the boat, I've cast my rig. Then just put two boatfuls out over the top of it. Uh, so that's my middle rod. And then my right hand rod is just fished under 
not very far out, but 15 yards out. Little underarm chuck, just one of the little gravelly spot uh, in the margin, just in front of a, a ranging tree where I've seen a few fish swell. Uh, that's just fish pearl baits, act to pearl activate. Got three handfuls of that up the top. As James said, normal reefs, now special blowback reefs. Uh, on the pat middle rod, the particle rod, the rig's just a little bit shorter, it's about four and a half inches just because the fish aren't moving as much as particles, basically. Uh, nice and simple, really. Yeah, so, um, with Josh, we'll, we'll ask, ask him a few questions, we'll talk about being a bit, and we'll see the way that he fishes. Um, he is, is fishing slightly different, as the, normally he's fishing in districts, and um, he's also fishing stables. Mystery man, we've been talking about him, but yeah, he's just smiling. Been on camera yet. Just smiling. Really wondering what questions there. So, just put him under a bit of pressure. Throw him at the deep end. So, yeah, um, like I say, we've had nothing. Danny caught his from his left hand rod, just under a, under a tree, didn't really. Yeah, it's margin rod. Um, I've known from past, but just knowledge from here that. My dad used to come here a lot and he used to catch a lot of fish just from margins. So I stuck a rod literally five yards out, right tucked underneath the tree and it went off at about half four, four o'clock this morning. Um, Josh just made a fresh spod mix up for us, zig mix and spod mix. Um, Danny's used a bit of that, but he's also using his own, as we showed you earlier. That fish was caught on half four of us. Uh, so, We'll show you the spot mix, everything that's going into it. As we told you before, it's all BM bait that's going into it. Um, except from the bread crumb, that's the only thing that ain't BM bait. And we're using that to sod it up a bit as a ground bait. But that's the only thing. And the hemp, but we've done that ourselves. So, everything else is BM bait. Uh, I think that's everything from me. And hopefully we'll be showing you fish out Unfortunately, I've got to go today. I'm going all day tomorrow, so I couldn't do two nights. Um, so yeah, I'll probably stay until about two o'clock in the afternoon. But he's off the front. Sadly, not fishing. Um, but yeah, we'll put the photos on after this clip of the video. Photos are coming on now. Cheers, guys. <laughs>
Right then guys, it's five past two. Um, Josh has had one fish, uh, only a little one. He didn't want photos of it, he slipped it straight back. Best not to keep them out really in this heat. The quicker you can get them back the better. Um, Danny's going in 25 minutes. He's getting picked up at half two. Yeah, I've been around with a floater rod. I'd walk around. Couldn't, couldn't grab out with that either. Really struggling. Um, we all are now, really. Uh, nothing's getting caught on the lake. It's all gone quiet. So, fingers crossed. As it cools down, it'll live enough. We are still to get an interview with Josh yet. Uh, I'm sure we'll wangle one with him later. I'll persuade him. So, we'll see you soon. Alright then, uh, it's my time to leave Bakers now. As you know, I'm going to do in the one night. James is going to stay for another. Uh, it's been a good session. Bagged one fish in the early hours of this morning. It's always nice to bag a fish on a fair, fair session down at a new lake. Um, so I'm really pleased, but even though it wasn't a massive fish, and there is some a lot bigger fish in here, uh, it's still a fish on the third session, so I was well after with it. Um, as you can see, I'm all packed away except for my rods, so I'm going to get them in, get off, and have to watch it. Right then, so here we are, as you can see, Josh is bringing a fish out, and as you saw earlier, Josh was uh, fishing over here, as I told you, he was um, fishing with dog biscuits, trying to trying to sneak one off the top, Josh getting all camera shy already, uh, just a nice little mirror, so he's put, put the effort in, and it's paid off for him, spent a few hours around here today, and he's finally nicked one, it's not a very big one, but a fish is a fish. Josh's second fish. As you can see now he's using carp care to look after the fish, help it repair. Big key to fishing. You should never go fishing without, without carp care. So I'll let Josh hold it up, show you both sides. And let him smile. Smile for the camera. I'll also get some stills and show you after. So there we go, it's a bit lively, it's been in the water. There we go, oh. <laughs> looks like the fish is more camera shy than Josh. There we go, nice little ghosty. Get some stills and we'll put it back. Show you the other side. There we go. So we'll get some stills and get it back. Right, so there's Josh, blinding in with the torch, but there's Josh, um, just got this from a like, far, far bank off some um, greers. Saw some in there earlier when he was stalking, so put the boat out and got it there. Rod off, give a really good fight, probably about 10, 11 pounds, not worth it. But it's starting to chuck it down, so I'm going to get her back, get his rod back out, and hopefully this rain will liven it up. Well done to Josh.
Morning all, um, last day, Sunday is 28th, um, still nothing, Jack has had four now, uh, he had him off far bank, not sure if I told you or not, only small, but the fish, I lost two during the night, from a margin rod, one, I, uh, I didn't hook it, uh, it turned really, really windy, absolutely chucking it down, really bad weather. That's why I'm sat in my bivvy, I'm videoing it from here. Been getting wind bites all night, hardly any sleep. But it's still time to get a fish, so got to keep keep happy. So if I would keep updated, cheers. Right then guys, time to say goodbye. The end of the session, as you can see, the barrels are packed up. Josh just finishing off. Um, Josh has had four. I blanked yet again, having a bad season. Um, hopefully, I'll get off the mark next time. Hopefully, me and Harry will be out on the bank next week, and uh, you'll be seeing seeing us fish a lot more with Josh. So that's what, that's it from Chris Cap TV, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.